Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video we're going to talk about how to make a very very basic quote template and we're going to go from no template to having a out-of-the-box template. Um, right now if we were to click on this button for preview document or there's another button for generate document if you click on either of those buttons and you try to look at a template, there are no templates. Where do we go to make a template? We are going to go to the template, the quote template tab and say new template. I've gone ahead and filled out some of the important details here, like the template name, the status, which lets you uh, create templates that are currently being worked on, so only a system administrator profile could view this. Your size of the paper details, as well as if you have any universal terms and conditions you want applied to this template, such as all sales are final, you could add in a very basic term at this level. Your company information, name of the company, the address, and then your font information, how you may or may not want things grouped. If you are grouping, we'll talk about that in more detail. And then some of the just uh, defaults we're going to keep here, as well as your print options, we're keeping these all default. In our subsequent videos, we will talk more in depth about each of these different areas, but for now, we're going to keep things basic because this is level one, just getting started with templates. When I go ahead and save, we have our template that was just created. Now, if I cancel out of here and I hit preview document again, because I have one template and it's default, it should automatically load that template for me. So I can see in the background, it's a little hazy, but there was the name of the template. And then here we have our um, company name or the magic market, the slogan, the address, and all of those details that we filled out on the quote template itself are showing up over here. Terms and conditions, all sales are final. This template consists of three parts. Part one is the template top. Part two is the lines. And part three is the bottom. With these three parts, if we are just specifying a template without any individual sections, this is what we see. As soon as we make a section, then these defaulted sections will disappear. Let me show you what I mean. So if we go to our quote template that we just made and we look, we can see the line columns. These line columns, quantity, part number, description, they pertain to the columns over here, quantity, part number, description, and so on. And if I wanted to have a a section that was different. So let's say, for example, this grid for salesperson extension email, maybe you want to remove this grid. You can do that by making your own custom sections over here and saying new section. This new section is going to have to tie out to a piece of content in order for it to function. And if you haven't yet created content, you should do that step first. This is going to be the end of our very basic template because we have generated a template here with the basic information. And in our next video, we're going to talk about how to add custom sections and we'll pick up right here. I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you've enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. And if you'd like to work with us, we are a consulting company. Thank you so much.